Okay. Hello? Yes. Yes, we did it. Okay. All right. So my computer is being really slow and my headphones are not working. And like okay. I let my little I let my son like play on the computer over the weekend and he might have peed on it. I don't know. Like it's it's just not accurate, you know. So like there's no telling what. So I think after we're done, I'm gonna like reset the computer and make sure everything's okay. You can hear me okay? Yes, now I can hear you. <laughs> okay, cool. How are you? How's your mouth feeling? How's your your mouth feeling? Oh my god, no, I'm laughing. I'm smiling. It's great. You know, I've been through a little bit of pain, but you know, with no pain, no gain, how they say. Right. And yeah, on weekend I was already I was sick because like it's autumn here, you know, and it's so cold in the morning and then in the afternoon it's so warm. So I think it's the weather change. Yeah. So I got a bit of cold, so I was just laying all Saturday, just laying, just drinking my teas. And today I feel like a new human. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, like <clears throat> here, it's uh Columbus Day. And so um anyway, it's a it's a holiday. And so it's a day that a lot of people take off. And so most of the people that put themselves on my they did not get a call and i figured that was going to happen just because it's a holiday it happens on fridays it happens on holidays but i'm happy that we got a chance to get on this call because this call is always just like relaxing to me this is my time to go oh, okay i'm talking to a friend of mine you know and I, like it's not focused on it's not focused on anything else. So I was looking oh. forward to the call. How's everything going in your part of the world? So in that part, it's, uh, we are with struggling right now. Yeah, it's it's not an easy um, season, you know. The last season was a bit different, but this season, it's it's not going that well. But, you know, we are still having hope, you know, we still believe in it. So, we are, you know, every time every time there's like lows and ups. So we are getting over that, you know. We just try our best and that's it, you know. We live every day and we should we should just be happy for whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, we um there's always like fluctuations in the market. And so a lot of what we do here as an investment firm is based off of the different fluctuations and not just the fluctuations in the market, but I have the ability to forecast things just because people act the same and it doesn't really matter what's going on in our world. People tend to react. And from a, point it turn whenever certain companies are going to start doing well certain companies are going to start doing bad or worse or you know better, worse and mm -hmm. so what i see right now is i see the society on the brink like a, a uh you know like a recession or a depression but people are being really resilient and they're holding on and so as much as we don't want to admit it or as much as it paint where you know, it sucks to admit it there's like a bigger power that's in charge of all this hmm. it is, yeah. what's about to happen at least what i predict and it i don't know mm -hmm. if it's going to be or that it could be here in the united states especially uh in certain parts of the world especially where this is holiday season uh, I see that gas prices are going to drop significantly. They're going to get lower. And then the cost of goods is going to get lower. Like now in the United States, uh, meat is already getting a lot less expensive than what it was. Um, I, in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in, they were talking about meat prices in the UK. And so dairy is going to get lower, bread is going to get lower, and so eggs are going to get lower. So these staple foods are going to get lower. So 
gas is going to get lower. So what that's going to do is it's going to make uh, like all these things are going to be cheaper. And the reason why they're all going to get cheaper is because there's warehouses sitting full of like inventory that has not been purchased and retailers and all these huge companies that make this time well the people that are in charge need all that inventory to go but what they're going to do is they're going to drop the prices of goods it's and true. it's going to give people a lot of confidence and then those mm -hmm. people are going to break into their and they're going to spend their hard-earned money on all the crap that they do here that they don't need and then after their savings are depleted and maybe after next year, after there's another crypto run where we put a lot of confidence in crypto again and get a bunch of people to invest their hard-earned money that they don't know anything about investments, they don't know anything about what crypto is, they're going to invest in crypto so that they can make some money. And the people that start getting in right now are going to start making money with crypto. And then there's going to be another crypto crash. And so there's going to be another big crash where the hard-earned people, like the, the the people that are working really, really hard for their money, they're going to put confidence in the system and the system is just going to rake them full, you know, rake them from for all their savings and, and deplete them from all their money so that they can feel better about buying crap. And so mm -hmm. that's, it, it sucks because... It sucks kind of because that's what I do for a living. At the same time, well, we have an opportunity to talk like this. Mm. And so even though uh, there's going to be people that are going to be making a lot of money whenever a digital dollar resets, even though there's going to be a lot of people making a lot of money whenever real estate resets the real estate market resets a lot of these markets are going to reset again um this would be a good opportunity for your average everyday person to really take their time to learn about investments to learn about starting assets to learn starting a company to learn about getting into that creative side of them and building something because in all actuality, like we're running out of opportunities in order to do it. Like I was reading this morning about Airbnb. So a law mm -hmm. was just passed in New York and Airbnb is no longer allowed to operate in New York. So the amount of listings went from 23,000 something down to like less than a thousand listings or whatever, or, or, or 4,000 listings. But of those 4,000 listings, only like a couple of hundred of them are legal under the laws. And then most of those people that were using Airbnb, they went to other platforms that are lesser known. And so now they're running illegal B&Bs inside mm -hmm. New York. And so we've also had laws change locally here in Dallas where certain neighborhoods are no longer allowing this B and B platform. I also read that the Fed is now looking at um, people who have been taking their money out of their four hundred one ks and then transferring that over into a Roth IRA and then utilizing the Roth IRA for investments. Well. That's perfectly legal and people are allowed to do that and they've been allowed to do that for a long time. But now the government is seeing that, well, that was money, that's billions of dollars that's being taken out of their account and put in other accounts that they're not in control of. And so the Airbnb thing is connected. The, the restrictions on Uber and how people are making money with Uber are connected. The Fed now platform launching people going to a digital dollar all these things are connected even though not everybody's looking at them that way what's happening is 
and I didn't even really start to grasp it until the last 30 days or so is I thought that small businesses were gaining a whole bunch of freedoms to be able to create and dominate in this world that we have right now. But what's happening is restrictions are being put in place to where less people will want to create. Whenever you wake up every morning and all your needs are met, then you don't really have the desire to go outside of mm. your norm, your, your comfort zone. And now we went from a society of people that wanted their own car and they wanted their own house with the white picket fence and they wanted three bedrooms and two dogs and they wanted the husband and they wanted the wife. But now we live in a completely loveless society where a majority of young people have no desire to be in any relationship whatsoever. They don't want children. They would be more than happy living in a tiny home or a pod with a TV and having no access to the outside world. Just like having this. no car of their own. Like this is this is the society that's being built around this, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's really, it's sad. It is sad, yeah. Most of the people right now, like young people, you know, um, I have some people around me, you know, and they are depressed, they are overworked in the work, you know. They don't have motivation to do things, you know. And uh, I've been there. I've been there too, you know. I was also like very, like, like I'm very optimistic. I'm open-minded, you know. I'm very happy person. But of course, sometimes these times this comes and like, okay, do I deserve to be happy? You know, do I want this? You know, why am I doing for it? Why? You know, why? And in the end, you know, I'm really happy that I'm living. I have a roof. I have work. I have friends and family. And this is the most important thing which people should like learn. You know, people should learn to value these simple things because they don't value that and i think there's gonna be one time and i don't want to see it or like but there's something coming and it's gonna be worse than this corona there's something's gonna come and it's gonna be very bad and we should be prepared for this because not everyone is gonna you know be here after that only the strong people. Right. So that's uh that's what I'm seeing. Like anytime there was a generation or any time in our history where we had a bunch of men standing around doing nothing, there was a war. Exactly. And it is coming, Jason. I'm telling you it's coming. You know, everyone like you me or ev everyone who is a little bit waking up we've been in very good times for a long time this is gonna happen something it's gonna be a war and it's gonna be harsh and it's gonna kill many people in this like earth i'm a very positive person i am but this is the reality which is gonna come Because yeah, people uh, have my to... daughter and I, we were, go ahead, please go ahead. Yeah, people have to wake up, you know, because you know how I said to you that uh, people only, um, people don't value their lives right now. You know? How they can see the small things. Because people in the war, after that, they value everything, every small thing. But now people don't value that. Not anymore. Yeah, my daughter and I were at the store the other day. I can't remember what she said. We live in a nicer part of Dallas. We live in North Dallas, like near Addison. It's a nice part of Dallas. And it's, whenever someone looks on TV and they see all this crime and all this stuff going on in the United States, that's not happening in the United States. It's happening in certain places in certain cities and then the news is going hey everybody look at this 
this is what's happening in the United States. So that's not what happens in the United States. Now, being in Dallas, there people get killed. People get killed in Dallas. I'm sure in whatever city you're in, people get killed. And so you wake up in the morning and you hear in the news that somebody got killed. Uh, or multiple people got killed or whatever. And so we were on our way to the store and she, she, she was asking something about like, we we're, we we're talking about South Dallas where the shootings are going on and, and some videos that we saw on YouTube where some shootings were going on. And we were talking about This is doubts. And though I love to believe that the people around me are really, really sane, because I live in Texas and I was born here and I was raised here, it would really just take a shootout happening in this parking lot because we're in Texas. And when I, I tell you, Eva, that I don't know what it's like where you live, but people in Texas collect guns. Like, people in Texas don't have guns. People in Texas collect guns. So, people don't have a gun. People have 34 guns. You know what I mean? And so, just imagine there's, like, some argument in a parking lot. And two people start shooting at each other, but we're in Dallas. And so, those stray bullets hit things and people and those people all have guns and then those people take out their guns and they start shooting at what they perceive to be a threat and they might hit their threat but those bullets are also going to miss and they're going to hit things and they're going to hit people and those people have guns and so this one incident in a parking lot over here could ignite a war. Exactly. And not only would it ignite a war, but who are you shooting at? Whose side is who on? It's not even, it's not even. <clears throat> and here's, here's the part that Americans don't quite understand yet. It might, I don't know what it's like to live outside of America. But one thing that I do know about America is whenever something bad happens somewhere in the world, the United States goes and they help. And they they send foreign aid and they send people and they send medicine and they send food and everything. If something happens in the United States, who's going to send us help? Nobody. Nobody's going to help us. Nobody's going to want to help us. We would be all on our own. And that, I mean, that would be it. Mm. We'd just be on our own. And then who comes out on the other side? The strong people, like you said. This is the reality. This is the this is the real world right now we are living in. You know, I live in Germany right now. It's a pretty good country to live in, I have to be honest. But, you know, just close, close by on the borders, there was Ukraine bomb by the russia you know just so like close by you know and that's that's insane you know that's insane yeah this is insane oh it's so i was i was talking about this the other day hmm. it doesn't feel real like it doesn't feel real at all it feels made up it feels like somebody's 
we were asleep in the middle of the night and somebody flipped a switch and we woke up to this completely different world. That's how it feels right now. Whenever I was a kid, like I think about my 13 year old daughter and I think about the reality that she lives in. And she has access to technology and she has a different way to communicate with friends. Um, but like her entire generation, like they have no hope and you're, you're older than her, but I can see how that could even live in your generation too. And me as a 40 year old man, I completely understand it because it's not that I'm losing hope. It's that I'm trying to find hope. I see the world a little bit differently than we all see the world differently. But I see it as a 40-year-old mixed man in the United States that grew up with an African-American father and a white mother and people abusing me and telling me that I was going to go to hell because my white mother married my nigger father. And now me being, having an African-American father, well, my birth certificate says that I'm African-American. And my daughter and my son, their birth certificates say that they're African-American, even though I'm half white. And even though they're a quarter white, it's so silly to say that <laughs> because we're American. It's crazy. And that's is... the, that's the, that right there is the problem is, is people are, are gay or they are straight or they are black or they are white or they're Asian or they're Hispanic or they're this 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 or they're this. We are people. When my two and a half year old son crawls on me, my son is playing out the same, what I call baby program that every other baby on the planet is playing out. And they're all making these little noises and they're climbing and they're discovering and they're doing all this. And as much as I love my son, I also realize that my son is no more or less important to me than any other person on the planet that is holding their baby. That baby has potential. That baby is a child of God. That baby has the world ahead of them. But the difference is what environment does that baby have around them? Mm. Do they have abusive parents? Are they in a war zone? Are they, are they safe? Is that baby allowed to just fall asleep with a bottle in its mouth, wherever it is, and just know that it's surrounded by love and care? And that's not the world that we live in right now. And that's really, really sad. Because even sad. though I know that my baby has that, even in my apartment complex in the world of like it's people's children don't have that safety and the anger is getting worse and the animosity is getting worse and the single mindedness is getting worse. Mm. Like what I'm hoping Eva is that we can have a revolution without a war. And that would be the ultimate goal, right? Yeah. I know. But you know the like, things. We need a change. We need a change it, without... It, it is like without. we need... Because we don't want to kill people. Right. But those other, they want to. And they will do everything. You know? And we need a power. We need humans. We need to connect humanity together. Because that's going to be a power then. We have to go against them. 
this is gonna be the one yes this is crazy it's like a video game this it is... is but it's not a video game it's it's reality this is the true you know it and i know it too there's something uh you know the things happen just in the world just off nowhere there is something happening in the, the war why there is a war again why people don't choose the war people don't choose not the people who live there they don't choose that the presidents or the people who are there they choose it right yeah it is like this and that's the, it's not even the it's not even the presidents it's the people yes. that own all the money that exactly. yes. put yes. the presidents in place so that people argue. And that's the thing about all of this is they have successfully made people hate each other. So you know, the people that would be fighting each other and the people that would be at war with each other and the people that are angry with each other they're doing it and they don't they're not even angry at each other it's anger that's caused by people that are pulling strings that exactly. they don't even know exist they think it's the presidents they think it's the republicans it's the democrats it's the left it's the right they think it's this but it's not it's not a, no 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 this is definitely not this there's something else like of course there's something else People don't want to talk about it because, you know, people are scared. Because if they know, those people are going to kill them. This is the truth. This is the truth. It's it's like everybody's kind of skating around. Mm -hmm. Like nobody wants to just say flat out, it's like good and evil. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like that's it. It's good and evil. Mm-hmm. But everybody's trying to label it different things. Exactly. But it's spiritual. Mm -hmm. It's like a spiritual battle that's happening right now. And... But you know, the light will always win. That's the right. thing. So you have to believe in it. Mm. Hey, you want to write a book together? We should. We should right. write the... Put yourself back on my schedule. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay. We talk soon. Right. Bye. Okay. Have a nice evening. You too.